Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. My dear respected brothers in al-Islam, imams of America. Uh, Insha'Allah, this is the third segment out of this communication for imams only. I'm your brother Muhammad Sayyid Adli. And here today, Insha'Allah, I would like to discuss one issue issue unification of education how we as imams as leaders how we going to meet, bring about some kind of a change in America I mean among especially among the Muslims of America education is the foundation the first thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started with his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Iqra, read so education is something very important and as we understand somebody in Florida and somebody in New York somebody in Texas somebody in California everybody a lot of Islamic school alhamdulillah and everybody teaching whatever it is but did you ever think about what's are these children learning Islamic education is something very important what they studying what they learning what kind of books they reading who actually put this book together uh, again like I said I've been here in America since 1975 alhamdulillah I came for this purpose and very involved especially about uh, non-speaking Arabic community uh, you know most of you dealing with Arabs but I happen to be dealing with the non-Arab so how are we going to make a change how are we going to leave something good for others after our death I proposing that all of us as Imams because we're supposed to be the most educated people among our communities I think we're responsible about getting the proper foundation for the future the future of Islam and Muslims those children the young boys and girls so we need to get together and have a plan even if it takes us one year to produce a one book for one grade Islamic study book I think it's something very important we're going to unify the education and we make sure that it doesn't have any innovation or any weak hadith and that is correct sources and everybody can give and everybody can recommend it and if it takes you understand a whole year to produce one book I think will be successful if we 10 12 years from now we have a Islamic education system unify from East to West and we present it to the Muslims the schools the Islamic centers and we tell them this is what we hear we believe to be the best and the proper things for our children I think if we do this we will be winners those who comes after us those young children those are the ones that need the proper direction but me and you are responsible about it how we're going to do this we need to communicate we need to discuss it it can be through NAIF, it can be through any other organization. But if those organizations did not do anything about it, still for us as Imams that we have to care and we have to think how we can get together, how we can do something about it. I'm really looking forward for hearing from you so we can see what we can do for the future 
of Islam and Muslims in America. It is in our hand after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a trust. وَلَقَدْ أَخَذَ اللَّهُ مِيثَاقَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابِ لَتُبَيُّنُنَّهُ لِلنَّاسِ وَلَا تَكْتُمُونَ So it is a covenant. It's a trust. The Allah took it upon us that we are the knowledgeable people, that we are the people of knowledge, that we explain it to the people. Yes, we are here for da'wah. Yes, we are here to be imams. Yes, we are, we are, we are. But the best investment in our future, which are those children. We need to give them the proper Islamic education. That we make sure that what they have is correct. We need to unify our effort. Please, take this matter serious, my dear respected Imam. خُذُوا مَا آتَيْنَاكُمْ بِقُوَّةً This is what Allah said. I know everybody have a mask, everybody busy, weekend Islamic school, full-time Islamic school, da'wah, this and that. But if, inshallah, we make more sacrifices and we try to dedicate ourselves to something that will be, inshallah, عِلْمٌ يُنْتَفَعُ بِهِ or will be a sadaqa jariya that will be for us. Many books in the market, many books about Islam and Muslims. We need to make sure that what been given to our children in the Islamic school, weekend or full time, are correct and is authentic and to the best of our knowledge. We could not allow others who are not educated enough to poison our children. We need to collect these curriculums, we need to sift, go through them, and come, we unify one curriculum for every child, every grade, for all the schools. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our humble deed, and looking forward to hear from you, inshallah. Again, seven minutes, I have to stop. May Allah reward you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. For more communication, you may write me at Islamic Center of Columbia at yahoo.com. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.